hello guys uh, welcome to this video in this video we are going to create uh, tables in the DynamoDB and we will be loading the data into the DynamoDB tables uh, using some uh, flat files so uh, for this we have one resource file and here we have the list of the tables along with the keys that we will be creating in the DynamoDB so um, let's change the region and choose a fresh region I'm choosing Tokyo as the fresh region and uh, in this region I will be creating the tables in DynamoDB okay so the very first table that we will be creating from the resource book is uh, the product catalog and uh, here we will go ahead with one partition key ID that is uh, ID and its data set will be the number and rest of the options will leave default and now let's create the table so we have the table getting created now so the product catalog uh, table is uh, getting created by the time it is uh, completed uh, let's create another tables so the second table that we are going to create is uh, forum and uh, for this forum we will be using one partition key and its name uh, will be name name and the data set will be string and then let's create the second table now we will be creating the third table and the name of the third table will be thread and for this we will be using a forum name as the partition key its a data set will be string and in addition to this we will also be adding one more partition key that is the sort key so we'll Go with the subject as the sort key here and data set will remain string here now click on create for the third table and the third table also got created now the last table that we'll be creating is for reply and uh, we will be using again two type of partition keys one is the number and the another one will be the sort key which will be the reply date time and this will be again string this id will also be string okay in addition to this primary key that is the primary partition keys we will also be creating one secondary index and for secondary index well, let's uncheck this default option and in the secondary index click on add index and here in the partition key we will be using the posted by and that will be the string we will add one more key that is a message and uh, its data set will remain string uh, so for this index we will be uh, using the index name as posted by message index and uh, we'll leave other attributes as default click on add index and then go ahead and create the table So uh, now our four tables are created in DynamoDB 
so uh, now we will be loading the data to this DynamoDB tables so to download uh, the data sample data we will copy this link and we'll paste it in the URL browser and this data will start downloading so I will select add the duplicate because earlier I had downloaded this okay so now it will be available in your download folder so uh, in my download folder since I am using IDM it will be available in the compressed folder so here I can see the sample data so now what I will do I will create one uh, folder here DynamoDB and I will open this sample data GIF file I will select all these four files and will copy it into this DynamoDB table DynamoDB folder and now I can see all the JSON files available in the DynamoDB right okay so how we will be loading this data we will be using the AWS CLI tool to load the data from my local system to DynamoDB tables and to use the CLI you need to install the CLI first and since the CLI is already installed on my system I will check it if it is available for the use or not so I will use the command AWS version and if I run this command then I will be able to see the latest version of the AWS CLI that is available on my system so I can see this 1.11.141 now to start using this CLI command we need to get the access keys for the account I will be using this AWS CLI, CLI command so uh, the people who do not know how to download the access keys or for the people who are using logged into the console as a root user and now they want to access is as a root user you can click on your name here and uh, right click on my security credentials click on open link in new tab so the new tab will open here and from this tab you will be able to create one access key for uh, your root account okay so just you need to click on continue to security credentials and you can also check don't show me this uh, message again and uh, expand this access keys so you see I do not have any access keys here for my root account so I will be creating one access keys from here and I will download the access keys I will save this one and close this so now I will check in my download folders I should have the keys downloaded here okay this is the key I will open it and once my file is ready with my access keys I will go to my command prompt and type one command here AWS configure hit enter so uh, here I see that already there is one access key IDs uh, configured with this but if I want to override this one then I will be using this access key ID and simply paste it here hit enter now use the access secret key copy it from the excel file and paste it here in the, in the default reason name I will have to use the reason of uh, the reason that I have created a table and it is Tokyo so let me check the region code 
for AWS Tokyo region. It will be um, okay. So this one AP Northeast one. So I will be using this region code here. And uh, for the default output format, I will be using the JSON. So since the input that I am going to provide here is same as the input that is already set there, that is JSON, I should go ahead with the default option here. Now, if you want to confirm, then you can type the same command and you can check that whether your input has been overridden or not. So I can see whatever I had provided is there. This is very important because if you have, if you are making any mistake in configuring your account, you will not be able to access your AWS account. So now what I need to do is that uh, I need to navigate to the folder where I have the uh, files, data files. So I will move to um, downloads under downloads I have one file that may um, folder that is compressed so, okay so let me check and confirm the folder name here so this is download folder and In this, I have this and under this one. So I will be using compressed. And then CD Dynamo DB work. So now I am into the directory where I have my data files. So I can now start using the copy command so commands are listed here we just need to copy this command and run it here okay so since I have run the first command that was to load the product catalog data let's go back to our DynamoDB tables and Let's check whether we have something loaded into this or not. So if you look into this, you see that there are some records loaded into the product catalog table. Similarly, you can use other commands and load the data into respective table. Okay, so all the tables now are loaded with the data, sample data. Let's check each tables now. Okay, so in this forum we have two records and one is Amazon S3 and another one is Amazon DynamoDB. So if we see we have this item and if you want to query, you can create one query here using the table name that you want to query into you can put a filter here that for the partition key name if I want to search for Amazon S3 only so since we have only two records we can easily find but in case if we have multiple records and number of records and we want to search the particular record then we can use the filter so since I have used Amazon S3 as the name for this we can see only one record is coming up here likewise you can go to another uh, table and you can see like in this table we have almost four records 
and this is based on the reply date time so again you can query it and based on the reply date time is equal to this you can provide some value from here and this is the date so if I copy and paste it here sorry okay the copy is not copy command is not working here so anyways you can use uh, you know different kind of filters and the sortings and attributes so you can query the record from here so that's it about uh, this video we have created the tables in DynamoDB and we have loaded the data into DynamoDB table uh, it is very easy we can we can uh, we can you know even use the uh, s3 files also to load the data into the DynamoDB table and uh, if you want to check the format uh, of the file that we were using to load the data you can simply open this um, with some text editor and you can see the content of the file so if I open with one note then I can see this is in the JSON format and in the JSON structure we are getting the uh, input records so likewise you can have your own JSON data file and you can create a table for that you can load the data into that table whether it is on any EC2 instance whether it is on any uh, S3 bucket or whether it is on your local file local uh, system so that's it about uh, this video we will be coming up with uh, uh, some more videos on DynamoDB where we will be using uh, Node.js and uh, Java to insert the data into DynamoDB table and read and access the uh, records using uh, Node.js and Java language. So keep watching this space and you can subscribe this channel to get updated with the latest uh, video uploads. Thank you.